Hi, today I'll be showing you how to deploy an MSI software using Windows 2019 group policy. So when you have a Windows Server 2019 and you want to deploy software to workstation or even to servers, so I'm going to show you how to, what is the best way to actually deploy this software. So let's say uh, right now I have, uh, this is my Windows Server, which is a domain controller. And here I have a workstation, which is of course joined to this domain server. So if I go to Active Directory Users and Computers here, let me just click Active Directory Users and Computers. And I go to, I created a new organization unit, which I called here workstations. And here on the laptops, I have three um, computers which are joined to this domain. So I want to deploy seven zip um, applications to this software. And the seven zip application, I have downloaded this software and put it on a dry, on a folder, which I shared here. As you can see, there's a seven, seven zip folder. And this is as, as well a shared folder. Sharing, you can see this folder is being shared. So you should always make sure that you put a software in a shared folder because if the software is not in a shared folder, it may be difficult for the software to be accessed by other computers. So, okay. So right now I'm going to go to my I'm going to go to Tools on the Server Manager and there I'm going to open the Group Policy Management. So if I open this group policy management here under my under my um, workstation uh, organization unit, I'm going to click this station and this workstation um, the organization unit and click create a new GPO in this domain and link it here. So let me just call it deploy seven zip and then click OK. So let me just let me enlarge this a little bit and here I have the 7-zip I'm going to uh, deploy so let me just click edit so on our edit you have the computer configuration so on our computer configuration you go to policies on our policies you have the software settings on our software settings you have software installation so I can as well click on the software installation here and click on new package or I can click on an empty space here and just click on new and click on package if I click on package, I will need to go to the share folder. It's going to be my domain name and here. Name and here. I'm going to look for software. When I type and then to be seven zip. So I'm going to select the software which is a 64 bit software application. And you can see it has to be an MSI application. So just click open. And here we have the option to actually assign this application or we can click on advanced to actually publish or assign um, or change the assign option but for now i'm going to assign this um, app because it's going to be installed on the computer automatically when the computer is being uh, locked uh, logged on when someone is when someone tries to log on to the computer so just click ok and here we go the software will be uploaded to this um software installation but right now we also have the option to actually do some modification if i go to properties here and you can see we have the general there is the name of the um, the software that we are going to install you can see the version is 19 the platform is going to be on the 64 bit we can have we have the deployment is going to be assigned we can as well um, on click on on install this application when it fails falls out of the scope of management but we can as well click on advanced we can say ignore language when deploying this package because you may have some computers maybe in your, in your, in your environment that has a different language and because this is an english version it may think okay it is not um, supposed to be installed on that computer so we can just click on ignore the language when deploying this package and it's going to ignore that so we also have the option to actually upgrade if for example you want to um uh, upgrade it uh, uh, this uh, for example there's, there's, there's the latest version of 7-zip and you want to upgrade it for example we have like version 21 we can decide to browse that of a um, new version input it here uninstall the existing package then install the upgraded one so we can uninstall the old one then the new one will be installed we have also some category we have the modification and as well we have the security here so let me just click apply apply and here when i close 
let me just close this group policy manager. Go to under my scope and under authenticate, you can see this is actually, and we have under the security filter, we have the authenticated users. Here, I will need to add a domain computers because this is actually meant for the uh, computers. So go to object types and select your computers to be among the list. And I, I'm going to select the domain computers object and check names. Go to be good domain computer. But if you have, but for example, if you have a, like a different domain, you can decide to choose a different um, domain location. But for now, I just only have this um, just one uh, domain. So I'm going to click OK. And here you can see the domain computers has been added to this um, security filtering. So let me just close this. So right now, when I go to the C01 computer here and I go to the CMD, and I type GP update first. I also have the option to just restart the um, computer without doing this GP update first. But by doing this, the GP update, the group policy, the group policy update, by forcing it, I'm going to actually retrieve all policies which have been applied to this computer because it takes about 90 minutes for all policies to be applied to computer. But the body, um, the restart uh, policy, even if it takes that 90 minutes, the computer is not going to re going to restart. Except when the user restarts that computer, then the then the software will be downloaded and installed. So let me just um, restart this computer, and when the computer is restarted, I will come back again and show you what happens. So when I restart the um, computer, then I go to the task. Let me just go to the task and manager here. And in the task manager, let's see what is going on behind the scene. Okay, let's go to the task manager. And here we can see, let me just scroll down a little bit. So we can see that the software is being installed behind the scene. So the window installer means that um, an MSI software is being is being deployed. So let's just wait um, a little bit, and if I go try to go to under when you go to your control panel under programs and future, let me just go to applications panel. Okay, and here if I go to start menu, you can see that the seven zip has already been installed on this computer because that is a very small file. Here you can see that the seven zip file has already been installed on this computer so it goes actually it goes very very fast because that is a, just a small small file here you can see as well that the file is still being installed on this computer so if you deploy this this uh, software to like thousands of computers definitely when users log on to their computer so uh, when you, um, it will take just some seconds but you can see during the installation your computer may slow down a little bit because you can see right now i don't have a lot of memory on this computer so it's taking uh, my, my memory right now is about 100 percent which of course is taking a lot on this computer so i can see that microsoft teams as well is taking some parts a lot of my memory uh, which i can decide to just end the task of the microsoft teams so that is how you install um, um, msi software using the group policy so thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. My name is Kelvin Johnson. And please, if you think this video has been of any help to you, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Try and give me a like. And if you have any question, don't forget to ask, send me an email, and I will reply to you as possible. Thank you very much. My name is Kelvin Johnson once more, and goodbye.